Hey, good morning. I got the sun behind me. I'm going out to get the RV. I'm going to go ahead and hinge those seats, close off those drawers, take those out, and make a little storage cubby today. So, let's go. Oh, you can hear my blinker. Check out my windshield washers. There, it squirts something. This one's not squirted at all. They're all, they're all plugged up. So, we'll have to get those taken care of too. watching out for these trees up here again. So I'm pretty tall now, not so much when I'm just driving in the truck. All right, so I got the motor home, home. It's at the house, got the table saw set up. I'm gonna go ahead and tear apart the kitchen table. Take those baseboards out for the bottom of the seats. Cut them up, take the drawers out, and make some better storage in this guy. jacks down, level this up, move the slide out in order to get these drawers out. So these drawers right here, you got to have the slide open in order to get them out. Otherwise, they only go about halfway and you can't get into them and half of it's back behind storage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and uh, hinge this lid. I've got one lid off right here. I'm going to take and hinge these. So all I got to do is pull those cushions up. Then I can just open that up and then I can get to whatever I got in there and I can fix my storage system. So I'm going to hinge these guys right here. That way we'll be able to open that up and I'll have access to all this area. I'll put some dividers in there, make some bins, and the storage will be a lot more useful. All right, so I didn't realize these guys were here in my original plan, but uh, there's just a little bit we got to take off of here. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, notch this corner and slide it up again I got this guy so once I hinge this I just run it up I just cut a notch right here get that guy right out of there and we'll do the same with this guy over here I don't have his screws out yet we'll get those taken out we'll get that measured up we'll be good I got this wood plate right here that's stopping the door from opening all the way. I'm gonna pop those couple screws out and we'll get this door out of here. I'm gonna take the panel off the front. We'll screw it on to it right here. Uh, it'll be non-functional, but uh, you know, it'll look right.
I gotta tell you, the two things that I'm really gonna hate to give up are gonna be my table saw and my gas shielded welder. But uh, they don't they don't fit in the motorhome. Turn this into my work table. Got my hinges, put them in my little parts tray here. I'm not going to notch them or anything. I'm just going to put them on top. It's just that little bit of foam from that seat that sits on there. That's only up about an eighth of an inch. Super thin pieces of wood. I use them for spacers. So we took a saw blade's width out of the board so I can put at least the saw widths back in. These screws are a little bit long, they just poke through the bottom, so I'm going to grab a grinder. And I'll just grind the tips of these off. I don't like All right, so here's what I was talking about, about those screws sticking out of that wood just a little. There, you can see them right there. Now, most people, probably, they probably leave that. You know, you might catch yourself on it maybe once or twice in a lifetime. But since uh, I'm going to be sliding my hands and stuff in and out of there, I don't want those up there. So I'm just going to grind them off. Just shave a hair off of that little bit of corner there. Hey, right, we're business. Two times now. No, that's three times I banged my head on that. All right. Well, at least I haven't been hitting it very hard. You know, this is rubbing just a little bit. I think I'm just gonna cut a hair 
off the edges on the table saw. All right, so instead of getting out a jigsaw and trying to jury that corner a little bit, I'm just going to cut it on my table saw. I got my blade up so it's almost straight up, so I get a pretty straight cut. When I go down, instead, instead of an angled cut, I got a pretty straight cut. I got it pretty close to the blade. I did not put in a sacrificial fence because uh, I'm a little bit close, but I got spaced. I already checked it. It's not going to hit. All right, so there's the cut, nice, straight, and square. I went a little bit past my measurement just for safekeeping, just for safety. Now I get my little Japanese pull saw, and I'll cut that last little piece right off right there. You know, I will tell you this. If you don't have one of these Japanese pull saws, you really need to get one. These are one of the greatest saws around. You can get flat. If you're cutting things flat, you can get it right on the ground. And it's a pull saw. So it only cuts when you're pulling and instead of pushing so you can get a lot better square cuts. Uh, you can line it up, keep your thumb on it to guide it. Good. All right, time for another trial fit. I think this time we should be in good shape. No touching. All right, we're going to do the other side now. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and remove these rails right here that hold those drawers. I've already got them out of this one. Here's the lid. It's already hinged up. Opens up. Got that little corner so it clears that. Then I'll be able to have all of this storage and I'll just store it from above. And not have to worry about pulling out them stupid drawers. They stick. They're hard to pull. You can't get anything in them. So, problem solved. Alright, so I got those guys behind me all done. I'm going to go in. I'm going to take the drawer fronts off of those drawers. And then we'll go ahead and mount those back on the front so it looks good. So this is the drawer fronts. They're just held on by four of these screws right here. And then that'll just come back off. I'll put those screws back in on something on the inside there and hold those on. All right, guess I was a little mistaken. They threw some glue on there on the center right here. So there was a little bit of glue, and it looks like they actually even stapled it on from the other side. Yeah, a little Brad staples. You can't even, you can't see those. I, I can feel back there. You can't even see those. Uh, that's why I didn't see them. Yes, yeah, so you can't even. All right. Well, we'll get that taken care of. This is the other door front. Glue job didn't even work at all. <laughs> they still got those Brad staples in there. I remember I, remember I told you in a previous video that uh, this crappy staple job, well, this staple attacked me. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna rip that pup out. I got my self a pair of pliers here. So we'll just fix this guy. Crappy, crappy, crappy. Cheap. Ah oh, man, I will tell you, this is a south wind. Let me see if I can get a shot of the underside here. That same corner. Yeah, check out that staple job. Busted the wood all up and out. Looks like I gotta fix that right now. Yeah, crappy. So, shall we look at the other side? Oh, hey, look, another excellent staple job. That little corner brackets, I, I had got some corner brackets. I set them aside when I was going through all the stuff in the garage because, you know, I figured, well, I'll probably need those. So, I... I got them somewhere. I don't know where they're at right off. I'll go look pretty quick if I don't find them right away. Um, that's something I can put together a little bit later. That won't be any problem. Uh, they're just flat corner brackets. A couple screws in them. That'll suck that right up. It'll be better than brand new. And let me tell you, brand new in this thing, it sucks. I don't even know what new ones look like if they're talking about construction and new ones being bad. But uh, 
I get it taken care of. All right, so there we go. We got the drawer fronts on. They're fake now. So, uh, open them up now. We got all this top-down storage over on this side. And the same thing over here. We've got all this top-down storage here. Now, I am going to, I think that these Velcro might be in the right spot. These Velcro over here, they're on the bottom. Now, I'll, I'll just pull those out. I'll just put some new Velcro on to hold those seat cushions. Okay. All right, so that's going to take care of today's video. I did a storage bin unit in my mid closet. The piping for the furnace goes up in the corner. Uh, I'll do that in the next video. This one's getting a little long. Later, guys. Ta-da!